Hello everybody, this is NCS, and welcome back to Let's Play Sengoku Gensokyo! Where last time, Aya has joined the human village, and today, things don't seem to be any better around here. Wow, everyone seems to be working very hard. All the villagers who were able and willing to fight gathered at the plaza every day for training. Aki happened to catch a glimpse of them while passing by, and was quickly filled with admiration for them. Ah, good afternoon, Lady Aku. Are you out to do some shopping? Ah, yes. I'm just about to return home. A young man nearby called out to her. She put down her bags of items she brought earlier down as she spoke, partly because the heat of the midday sun had made her feel a little dizzy. Whew. It is rather warm today. Yes, it is. It must be hard on you, Lady Aki. Ah, yes. My body is not very durable, unfortunately. Would you like to join us? Training yourself will help you grow stronger to the effects of the sun as well. I am afraid that I'm not very good at physical exercise, unlike everyone else here. She politely turned down the invitation. She much preferred sitting at a desk with a pen in hand. That's why she wanted to help fighting in battle as well as an active party member. I didn't get that. <laughs> I mean, she could just be the strategist. She didn't have to participate in actual physical combat or ranged for all that I care, but oh well. I guess that game just wanted to have her in there. I see, that's too bad. Aren't you fighting with Miss Kane and all of us too? Wouldn't that be dangerous? It may be, but I shall do my best as my body allows. <laughs> Alright. If things get dangerous, we'll protect you, so don't worry. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I ought to be heading back as well. See you again. The young man with a good physique waved goodbye and returned to the plaza. A tinge of envy started to well up within Aku upon seeing all the energetic youths trading hard. They look like they are having fun. I'm feeling a little jealous now. But I must not do anything too rash to ensure that the reincarnation goes smoothly. If by any chance the person holding the latches dies before preparations were completed, the reincarnation would not be guaranteed. And if the Hidia family were to collapse, who would take over the Gonsaku Chronicles? Better not that annoying crow tango, that would be horrible. <laughs> oh man, so much half truths that lies! The horror! <laughs> but as impudent as my actions may be, it has been quite fun. The large scale event occurring now may be more dangerous than training, but for Aku, who had never seen such a thing in her present life or her memories, it was an event that she had to participate in. And the human village counterattacks, ooh. I am not prepared for that, and actually I don't really care either. <laughs> I mean, for right now, all I want to do is get another cutscene, but not that one. Oh, although it might be the one letting me a look. Um, yeah, that is actually the cutscene uh, cut I wanted to have. Alright. Hey, did you hear? Or rather, did you read? About what? This thing was delivered to my house. Marisa's hand fidgeted with her skirt for a while before it eventually threw a rolled up piece of paper towards Rayma. Her skirt threw it? Alright. Ah, this. Where did you just pull that from? It was convenient. Best for her not to think about it. Okay. From your reaction, I'm gonna guess that she came over here too. Uh-huh. She landed a clean hit on my head. <laughs> She'd be sorry if my brain got damaged from that. There wouldn't be much to damage that, Ava. Ow! What was that for? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe a good whack would make it work better. Uh, okay, okay, my man. Now put this back on away. I guess with being hit, I got lucky there. <laughs> you always love to say more than is necessary, don't you? Rayma then stuffed the spellcard back into her shrine maiden outfit through the neck. 
And where do you keep your stuff, huh? Well, that ain't a big deal anyway. More importantly, someone sure has guts. She can't declare herself the fastest. Marissa exaggeratedly slapped the newspaper with the back of her hand as she spoke. Just when did someone have to get permission to talk about who the fastest was? It's not like you to have a monopoly on that title. Also, Mima was far faster than you in Mystic Square. Ow! Stop hitting me, girls! Whatever you say, this line is definitely her way of calling me out. It's only gotta be right to... It's only gotta be right to take up on anyone who picks a fight with me. Well, feel free to do your best as long as it doesn't become a headache for me. Um, Rema, weren't you the one who felt provoked by Aya as well, and thus wanted to challenge her? Just like your last cutscene? Just saying. Rema thought that Marisa would act against orders when she was as fired up as that, so she read it a little motivation in terms of a brandished needle to keep her in line. How cruel! And that's our heroine! Gee, Reyma. But anyway, this was uh, the cutscene that we wanted to get because that will ensure us that we will get another cutscene right now. So many cutscenes! <laughs> but uh, the cutscene we will be getting in a second uh, is actually really worth it. There we go. Yeah, you have to send Marisa to battle here. Uh, this mechanic will be coming up in, well, in the next, actually from now on a lot of times, that if you send certain characters into combat, that you will get um, certain, well, certain cutscenes like these. Actually, um, let's see, I can find it right now. There was one cutscene as well with the He-Gun Guard. However, um, oops. However, you had to have a character with you that you didn't have at that point in time. So you had to first defeat the human village, and I believe, even more parties than that. And only then you had to actually take on uh, Aki, and I wanted to have her defeated first, so yeah. Ah, Miss Marisa Kirisam! It's been quite a while. Whoa, you remember me? Once a reporter has investigated the lead, she never forgets it. As if that's true. You fit to reveal the truth on who's the fastest in Gonsaku after all. My, isn't that a fact? There wasn't anyone I left out, was there? The one right in front of ya. I ain't gonna run from a battle on who's the fastest. Let's sell this right here. A human is attempting to compete with me? This could be very interesting. Okay, I accept your challenge. Great, you better not throw a tantrum when you get beat. Heh, <laughs> the eventual result is plain for anyone to see. That's it, I'm definitely gonna make you cry! <laughs> it's always nice to see Marisa so fired up. <laughs> Alright, but it... Oh, yeah, okay, we actually do have Aya in this battle. Ugh. Why didn't she get an, uh, her own song like he did, though. I really like Aki's music, too bad we won't be getting to hear that again. Um, yeah, Aya is level 14! She is, without a doubt, the strongest character in this army. Followed by Kane, and then sometime later, maybe even after the level 8 comes, Aki. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, Kana, let's see you. Okay, let's advance and attack Kana. Ah, uh, yeah, we do want to make sure that, oh god, Riggle's the only one close to Aya. <laughs> or, uh, in attacking range, rather. Uh, we do want to make sure that Aya doesn't kill any one of us. Because that might easily happen. Um, let's see, Aku and Naoki. Okay, let's attack Naoki. Let's almost defeat Naoki. <laughs> um, with you. You know what, let's attack Aku. He was again lowered. Fortunately, <laughs> and since we can go close with Rumia, uh, to Aya that is, let's do that. Aku use Chronicles, which 
can raise, I believe, multiple enemies' uh, stats, just like that. <laughs> I'm not uh, entirely sure which stats, I believe all of them, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Oh, pressure. Nuts. And, ouch. Wind God Fan. This ability allows Aya to perform a close or far reach attack on an enemy and push them back into far position. Uh, which you just did with Rimia there. And that attack hurts, as we just saw. Especially if she's a couple levels higher than we are. Ow! But at least she didn't attack Riggle? I guess. Ooh, poison, nice! That's good. Okay, the best idea actually is to attack her with uh, the Yama or Marisa, but for some reason, even though our close range attacker was far away from Aya, our far range attackers weren't. Figure that out. Probably I don't get the, uh, all these mechanics there. Oh, yeah, let's do an all at once to protect the Rimia a little. <laughs> um, yeah, let's attack our Q. Pretty much you only want to weaken Aya, but not necessarily defeat her because she is level 14 and. Okay, so much for that. Um, and she is terribly powerful. Although, if she kills our characters, that is not good. <laughs> the general idea on how to defeat Aya is by uh, basically making uh, the timer run out. Okay, if you want to get us to attack you, then okay, I don't mind that. <laughs> Why do you keep run away from us? I don't mind that at all. Okay, let's defeat Aki. Oh, Aya only has one more turn. That's very nice. All we need to do now is not lose anymore. And we can't. Alright. I don't think I can defeat Aya with that, no. But if I'm lucky, I can defeat Easel. Yeah, barely. But I could. Nice. 79% victory. Good enough. Yeah, now that Aya is in their team, things do get a little bit more difficult. A little bit much. <laughs> Alright. At least we did win. Um, actually, now that they do have Aya on their team, it would be not a bad idea to leave Alice and her dolls as a backup party. However, I far more prefer leveling up my uh, my territories here. I believe there is another cutscene coming up there, so I'm just going to end this episode right here, so it won't become another 30 minute episode like once, okay, <laughs> but still, I like to have my episodes shorter than, uh, than 20 minutes. If I can do that. So next time we will see uh, if we can get the human village to 100% or not 100% but 100 defense and if we can actually see the protector of this territory in this battle as well. So this was NCS and farewell for now. <laughs>